everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show Market Review. This is a QQQs. Market is playing out the way that I thought it would when I looked at it yesterday, except for uh, it has not done the buy setup yet on the daily chart. It, it looks like it's going to, though. It's only 12.30. There's three and a half hours left in the day. The market's going to trigger a buy setup on the daily chart over uh, 95.06. It's 30-some cents away. Market's doing it. Market's power trending all day here since it decided to lift. And the interesting thing is in the pre-market this morning, I thought, well, this market's going to hold. It's going to be bullish. And then it took a little while to get going. I thought, hmm, this is interesting because the spine looked like it was going to break down again and was weak. And then it faked like it was going to go lower, but flipped. And then I was wondering if it was going to fake to go higher, but then it held. And the Qs always held this morning. So the SPY was looking weaker than the Qs. And they were going to, then markets, two markets needed to come together. And they did. They came together in the direction of the trend of the market, of the overall market, which is bullish. So could the market have come in today? Yes. The SPY was weaker than the Qs. Did they? No. The market is playing out today, right now, today intraday the way that I saw it to play out today last night and the way I saw it to play out today in the pre-market despite the sluggishness the sluggish activity that happened in the morning which happened for a good 30 45 minutes the market did hold today and went going tough going in here today because I'm sure a lot of people have made an attempt to short this market but you cannot do it you can't do it and I've been saying this a couple of videos ago. I said, don't short this market no matter what you do. And I'm sure people shorted this market two days ago. I'm sure people shorted this market here. I'm sure people shorted this market this morning. Look at this. Look at this. Look. Market over 95 today and wherever it goes. Follow through here into the close of the week. Follow through into the close of the week. The gap down to me was a gap down. Was it a gap down I would have shorted? No. Did I short this market? No. Can you short this market? No, you cannot. There is no such thing as tops. There is no such thing as bottoms. There is no such thing as anything like that. And stocks don't have to do corrections and neither does the market. I talked about this in the video I did last night. This day here that you wanted to come in, if you wanted a correction in the market, that was it. That's all you're going to get. Go long. You could have gone long here. You could have gone long here this morning. People are going long here today. People that want to buy this market that understand what's going in on are seeing this as an opportunity to buy into support, and that's what's happening. So the market is getting bought into support, and that's what happened today. Market gapped down into support and got bought, and that's what's happening. This is a huge bar to be happening today in a gap down. Massive, massive retracement back up here, and a great, great hold for this bullish market. It will continue higher, and the market will get over the high, if not tomorrow, in the next week. It is a great, great area for this market to be doing what it's doing. And uh, the bottom line is that, you know, if you want to go long in core longs, if you're, if you're into going long, if you want to go long the market, this is an opportunity. The market hasn't even gone anywhere yet. The market hasn't gotten going anywhere, anywhere, anywhere at all yet. The market's going to have a huge, massive rally between now and the end of the year. And if people don't get in, they're going to miss it, okay? So there will be no correction. You want to call the bar that happened two days ago correction? Fine, that's it. That's all you're going to get. And it capped down today, basically. And uh, this is really, really something here. Look at the nice lift this is getting. Just what a huge tower of strength. Huge tower of strength. So I saw the market would do this yesterday, and I saw it this morning in the pre-market. took a while to get going. T took a while to get going. It was tricky in here because I know people were shorting this. And the market rallied over the high, came down, didn't break the low, looked like it was faking lower, then came over the high again, and finally, finally got going after 10 o'clock. But here it goes. Market right up, right up to the target of 95. Right, right up there. It's just going to go, poo. It's just going to go right up there. And it's 1230 and the market still has so much time left in the day. And I'm just going to throw this out there now. And I'm seeing it now for the time of the day. Market could get over the high today. Jesus is nuts. Market could get over the high today. Let me see this number. I'm just reading this live right now. 95.70. Market could get over the high today. Go long the market any pull back here today if you want to go long, if you want to trade. Market could actually get over the high today. I'm not saying this is definitely going to happen. It's definitely going to get to the target of 95. But I'm throwing it out there now as a potential market could actually get over the high today. It's another dollar from here. <laughs> and when I did the video yesterday, actually, uh, actually when I did the video, Last night, I said, no matter what this market 
does tomorrow, no matter how it gaps. If it gaps up, if it gaps neutral, if it gaps down a little, gaps up a little, gaps up a lot, gaps down a lot, gaps down, gaps down, whatever, whatever it does. I said the video yesterday, no matter what this market, however it gaps tomorrow, the market's along. I did say that the video last night. <laughs> I said that the video last night. And that's what happened. Market gap down this morning. And it was a long. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. Have a great day, everybody. Buy the market. Any pullback if you want to go long today. First target's 95. We'll get there. That's not a dream target. It's just regular. And the market could get up over the high today, which is 95.70. And if it doesn't today, it's probably going to tomorrow. So beautiful calls I've been making here in the market. Go long. No reason to short anything remotely in this QQQs or the spies, you find weak stocks with good bearish golden gaps to short. And that's what you do. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information on how to read gaps and learn how to trade and learn how to read the market. The next gap class is this weekend, July 12th and 13th. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you want to sign up. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.